right, good morning everyone. There is nothing better than doing errands early in the morning. No traffic, less cars. Less danger. It's a beautiful day. Just a little chilly, but it's beautiful. advantage and disadvantage of uh, taking a ride or doing some errands early in the morning advantage is less cars disadvantage the drivers are not awake yet so you better pay attention to your surroundings and the cars because they're they're not really awake yet 100% And if you're driving in the morning, just dress accordingly because, uh, you know, today is, it's a beautiful day. It's, what, 52, 55 degrees. But uh, with the wind, if you are on a bike, with the wind, it doesn't feel like 55 degrees. It feels a lot less than 55 degrees. So it, it will feel chilly. Probably later today, it's going to be a lot warmer, but in the morning, if it says 55 degrees, if you are on a bike, you will be cold if you're not dressing accordingly and putting a couple more layers uh, below that jacket you're wearing. As you can see, this guy decided not to stop in the stop sign. One of the bad ideas. So you're driving a bike, follow the rules like everybody else. Not stopping in the stop sign, it's not a wise choice. Especially if you are on a motorcycle. The car is a lot bigger than you. Obviously, if you are a driver, a uh, rider, uh, you're gonna know that uh, always take uh, the appropriate lane if you're driving with somebody else. So if the person taking the left lane, left lane of the lane, uh, you stay on your right. So he can see you and you can see him, as well as the other drivers behind you can see both of you. Running with uh, with a group, just don't follow their speed. Follow with the speed you're comfortable with. Don't follow with your speed. And just if you're a new rider, obviously uh, you can't. I'm I'm riding 38 miles an hour on a 35. It's 40 now miles an hour in a 35 mile zone. That's what I'm comfortable with. Not only comfortable with on the bike, but also legally comfortable with i'm not interested in a ticket not interested in in any uh 
confrontation with the with the police so you know do not follow the other riders you're riding with stay in the comfort zone your comfort zone because this is this is this is your bike this is your life your plan is to come back home not actually you don't know what the other guy's plan is maybe he has a death wish you never know but stay within your comfort zone if you are riding a bike It is chilly, it is very chilly. I should have wore another layer of shirt or something. It is very chilly. The wind feels like it's 40, 40 degrees, even though it says 52 degrees uh, the temperature outside, but it, it definitely doesn't feel like 52 degrees. Let's see, yep, he's not gonna stop. 
And these are the things you need to pay attention to. Motorcycles, I don't know, to trucks and cars are considered invisible. I don't know. It's not like I'm wearing black uh, jacket. I'm wearing, yeah, black helmet, but my jacket is bright white. No, it's white and gray. Yeah, just predict what's going to happen in front of you. The problem is with what's going to happen behind you. This is my fear always when I when I ride a bike. I don't know what the guy behind me is. He see does he see me? Is he going to stop or plow into me? Ah, uh, that's that's the problem I always ha you know afraid of. The the person behind me is he going to stop or not? That's because you can see what's in front of you. You can, you can maneuver, protect yourself, change lanes, stop in front of you. But behind you, it's just, it's extremely difficult. This is what happens when you are rushing in the morning, excited to, to go for a ride. You forgot stuff. And I forgot the document. I gotta drive back to the house okay. to get that document. Mm. Oh well. I gotta put some gas in this bike. There is a good thing about this bike, the Rebel 500, and there is a bad thing about it, gas, gas wise. Gas economy it is amazing. It's uh, 70, about 70 miles to the gallon. The only problem is it has a teeny itsy bitsy tank of gas. So, it doesn't take more than two and a half gallons maybe, uh, 2.8. So, uh, you're going to fill it up more often if you drive a lot, oh, but if you're not like me, if you're, if you're like me uh, and you're driving eh, once a week, once, uh, twice a week, uh, that's not going to be an issue with you because uh, the gas tank can last you at least. If you drive twice a week and you drive about 
maybe 50 miles uh, a week which is this is my commute basically and my errands uh, that's uh, that's that's gonna try it last you at least three weeks uh, the tech of gans which is in this uh, gas crazy crisis uh, the prices uh, that's fantastic loving it compared to my truck which is I put about maybe uh, sixty dollars a week in the truck so uh, that is uh, that is really uh, money saver right right there and obviously the motorcycle you cannot go uh, grocery shopping with it you cannot go to say Costco or places like that to buy stuff you know, there, there is no space you can put this stuff so obviously you're gonna have to use a car to do this uh, errands for shopping but still uh, you know appointments uh, work you know I, I go to work with it stick my laptop in the, in the trunk in the back uh, and I am golden And if you take a couple of things with you to work, uh, you know, saddle bag or, or trunk, you get uh, the Jivy trunk, uh, you're going to be able to stick a lot of stuff in it for your work. So, work wise, that is an amazing commute vehicle. Hey, little one. <clears throat> Again, as I said, it's 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 amazing driving early in the morning, especially in a in a crowded state like uh, New Jersey or New York uh, being on the road in early in the morning it is just a blessing it's just it's really nice you're not competing with vehicles around you or cars around you you're not uh, you know you're relaxed you're relaxed because there's there's not much uh, danger on the road but as I said people early in the morning when they're going to work uh, they're still not really 100% awake, so that's, that's, that's a danger. But a week like today, the weekend, it's, uh, it's not bad, you know. And the pickup of this bike it is phenomenal it, it, it is it is amazing you know for for a 500 cc bike uh, the, the, and this engine is just fantastic okay are you just gonna stop okay good girl And I've noticed uh, 
something um, maybe it's not true maybe maybe it's just a wrong observation but uh, I've noticed that uh, women drivers they don't pay more attention they don't pay attention to the motorcycles or bikes like the men uh, car drivers can't tell you why but I have a theory that I think because men drivers okay they 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 pay attention to the motorcycles because many many main drivers drive bikes and motorcycles so they 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 have the ability to recognize and see and identify that the, the the tiny bug on the road uh but women since they don't ride motorcycle i think that again this is a theory uh, I think they don't really pay more attention to the motorcycles and I've, I've seen this during my morning commute uh, a lady just uh, decides to not to stop the stop sign and I'm coming clearly uh, right in front of them but they're not stopping the stop sign uh, they, they didn't it's not I'm not there uh, they cannot see me so I think they call that mental blind spot. this one more time <laughs> same same errand twice I don't know uh, hope this time it's gonna be it's gonna work yeah don't rush in the morning Don't rush, take your time. The guy you're going to see is gonna still be there.
something else if you're a new rider. If you're in a traffic light, always find escape route. So don't get close to the car in front of you. Just in case the guy behind you and when you stop at the traffic light, always look at the rear rear view mirrors. Uh, so the guy behind you is not gonna stop in the traffic light, you're gonna have an escape route. Uh, I always, always stay where between cars. If it's the right or left side of the lane, I always stay between cars. So if anything happens, I can go between cars if the car behind me doesn't stop. Also, one of the things, if you're a new driver, learn that the hard way as well. Uh, do not drive right in the right behind a car, right in the middle of the trunk. Drive either on the left side of the lane or right side, so he or she can see you in the rear view mirror, mirror and the side mirror. Again, if you're driving right behind a car, you're invisible to them. They they. They don't know you're there. So if but if you drive on the side so they can see you in the rear view mirror and the side mirror. This way you're visible. Anything uh, they change you wanna change lanes, they wanna turn, uh, you're they, they you're there. You're in the mirror. If they don't care about you, this is a different story. But you again need to do uh, your due diligence here and uh, make sure that you go back home safely.
I really want to change the seats of uh, the seat of this uh, motorcycle. Uh, it's not comfortable. First earn is over. Next. Exactly, she cannot see me. I, I mean, what's wrong with these people? Seriously, what is wrong with these people?
first time I get asked that question. Where can I get a lighter fluid? Oh. All right. I think I need to put some gas. Wow. She stopped. That's it. That's it. That's strange. <clears throat> Come on, lady, you can do it. Uh, good girl. Alright, let's try this again.
enemies of motorcycle riders, animals, deer. That is bad news. Uh, this area is, uh, is full of deer.